Да-да. Then hitting the batsman high up. The freakish thing about this series, four matches so far, is that an Indian wicketkeeper has yet to claim a victim. Uh, in the air, but safe and four runs. That went between Jaunty Roads at Backwood Square and the cover at a very catchable height. But he picked the gap well. And so four more runs and both his boundaries have come in that area. Yeah, one thing you've got to say for him when... Uh, Again, that shot played by Rahman through mid-wicket. An identical shot. And uh, same fielder chases after it. And again, it's two runs. And if it is so, then, of course, India, who we've seen win their only game when they did chase in that second, will put a bit more uh, in the evening. And then Donald again to Jadeja. And he's out. The court has been put by Brian McMillan, and that one did certainly get out of fend off. And in trying to fend off, Jadeja getting the outside edge, and as usual, the safe hands of Brian McMillan. Conference with him. Also one of the best arms in world cricket. Except there. Again, the pace of this outfield. I doubt whether that would have gone for four on any of the previous four grounds. Combination of extra size plus uh, dampness. This is dry and a small outfield. Not a great piece of cricket. Huge crowd roar. Took his chances, played it on the up and it's four. Caught by Macmillan at first slip just guiding it into his hands a shot that he likes to play where he just opens the face tries to run it down the third man often beaten when trying to play that shot this time it finds the bat and he's gone there's the angle of the bat not quite connecting well enough with the ball and Craig Matthews getting some justice for very fine bowling so far so we're killing Raman Limpser Second catch for Macmillan. First look. Watch Macmillan. And it's pretty obvious that uh, Kabaka wants to get on with this game and uh, lift the pace. Yeah. All right. Nobody need run for that. Play has been asked for direct hit and within in a moment. And it is on the way. And really, there didn't look much doubt, almost with a naked eye, because a direct hit and Kabaka slow off his mark, didn't respond to the call immediately. Goes from so wide out, and again that's nudged. There'll have to be a dive. Two, three. They need to boost that. Oh. A 
over the top and four may even be six four it is couldn't have been much it's a big over this and score more it's 12 off the over well whether he bowls a maiden or not there's five deliveries being five got balls no wonder there's that great big grin grin what an effort his man well after five dot balls Pendleton had to go for the big hit a slow one he didn't quite pick that up wasn't onto the bat and uh, the inside edge resulting in his dismissal pitch delivery hit hard but uh, straight to the man on the boundary a bit of a one. has he got hold of this one indeed he has at six runs Chitour just hitting the ball through the arc and connecting very well and that boosted to 183 is really in the innings. And they're going to take a cheeky single. Side footing it into the wicket, McMillan. And umpire Lamson has called for the decision to come from the third umpire. A rather half-hearted request for that. But I think he's relatively happy that the batsman is in. But he's just doing this for insurance. Well, as Radin set off early, it was a race between him and Macmillan. Fairly even, and then he has to bid into the wickets. And yes, it looks as though the bat was down safely. And indeed, the red light indicating that umpire Carl Liebenberg thinks as we do. He's looking shot out into the covers. Boundary man, oh, Callahan. has cleared the covers but down boundary and uh, Kirsten gets it back in they were thinking of a second and if they'd have gone for a second they would have been safe because the throw wasn't that good from Peter Pitton Donald had to go out and for four does he get past he does indeed and that should go for four runs or though Hudson got a hand to it, took some of the sting out of it, but it's still got enough momentum. This has cleared the covers, but now on the boundary, and uh, Kirsten gets it back in. They were thinking of a second, and if they'd have gone for a second, they would have been safe, because the throw wasn't that good from Peter Kirsten. Donald had to go out and move for four. Does he get past? He does indeed, and that should go for four runs, although Hudson got a hand to it, took some of the sting out of it, but it's still got enough momentum to beat Kipling. This is very well indeed by Azudin, one bounce, four runs to the other. They stop under each other. What? They'll get one, Azudin, and uh, Shastri, and... Uh, Indeed, the lollies in front of me already. Excellent last over by Brian McMillan. And I think at the end of the day, the South African bowlers have back in. should produce certainly an impressive 225 runs for the side batting first. Again, but it materialised. As Skipper Mohammed, his best innings of the tour, he made 69 in uh, Walmart Day Night Match in Peter Maritzburg before that uh, at the National but uh, and six of 106 balls has certainly boosted uh, to their best total so far when batting first and out of the five matches played they've had to bat first on four occasions and uh, they've disappointed on most of those occasions but certainly not uh, on this one I still feel that they would be unhappy that they have not got a good deal but 
Both South African bowlers have done a marvellous job again. sort of middle in May, um, and that was a beautiful shot by Hudson. She got three for this. And we don't get three to the total. I think Martin, that was the area, once I've seen him, I played against him in Scotland, and... Uh, Short one, he got it. And he has four runs. Here for LBW, this time Mora joining his bowler, but umpire keeps an unmoved. You see rolling the fingers over the seam, trying to get the ball to move back into Kepler Russell. Wide of the crease. That will be uh, probably two buys. Went very wide there. Goes to 50, and the crowd starts joining on the field, which we're trying to stop at all the matches. But they're pretty good natured, and I must say, the, the spectators have been very, very well behaved in all these very nice things. <laughs> Get the vessels, and he certainly has filled his leg for the South African side. 122 minutes, 88 balls. For Hudson, he has to be shot. And the two are not move. And it's six great runs. And now I don't even see a chance four there. This is something that has been missing from the South African batting throughout the series. They've never really got on top like this. I think they're losing confidence now, maybe. Yeah, well, I think being three one up, you know, normally you can't lose. It's now time to put a, put a bit of a show on for your spectators and your supporters, you know. And I think they're showing a very, showing themselves a very confident side at the moment. Well, they're making a meal of Tengoka, which is perhaps no surprise to fifth bowler. This is the confidence of Hudson now. He's been one of the top South African order who's uh, and uh, never happy when he's drawn onto the front foot. Trying to drive, getting all cranked up, and a simple court and bowl. Yes, 
He was beaten in the flight over there. Never really got to the pitch of the ball. And uh, could we get the first ticket? No. This is a beautiful shot through the cutters, former and Kirsten has come out and shown that he intends to get it over and done with. Possibly the shot of the day, absolutely superbly timed shot there, through the gap on your side. Really standing and hitting through the line, but beautifully timed and the field has no chance at all. Yes, he didn't even have to come down the wicket to this one, he just waited for it. As you can see, the way he moved his foot forward, he's anticipating coming down. And what has happened? They've moved the mid-on back. For a moment, I thought that's where he's going to bowl from. He didn't get hold of it. He didn't get hold of that. game as it is. Those are better shots. Not really metal. A gamey looking shot, but it's worth a couple. Two runs more. Running the ground authorities have got to do something about this. This can lead to absolute mayhem. Damage to pitch, damage to players, and you've got to feel sorry for everybody out there. That is ludicrous and must be stopped. Stewarding, marshalling, police, call it what you like. You cannot have it even though they're dispersing straight away. I've seen it happen too often in England, and eventually it can lead to ugly scenes. It must be prevented. Nevertheless, a wonderful hundred there for Andrew Hudson. Out, caught, nicely caught, as we're doing with the catcher. And uh, well, that may well a little bit of the crowd's enthusiasm at the end of the game, had Hudson still been there, he won't be now, gone for the 108, good innings, fine catch, 204 for two. Very, very good, good uh, match, kept it stable, kept it simple, didn't do anything too stupid, I mean they were talking, um, you know, they were talking at one point about giving away the possibility of that, you know, putting the air, really put you in, you know, he's hitting the ball up and